Welcome to the Lumension Pattern Remediation video vignette series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of Lumension Pattern Remediation to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Today we will take a closer look at the Lumension Content Wizard that interfaces with and extends the capabilities of Lumension Pattern Remediation and Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite. Hello, my name is Andrea Hilwig, and in this episode I'm joined by Russ Ernst from Product Management to show you how you can create and manage custom content, scripts, patches, and tasks using Lumension Content Wizard and Patch Remediation. Vulnerability solutions typically cover specific software and applications, but they may not support the detection and remediation of third-party or custom in-house software. For this reason, many organizations hire consultants or programmers to create content for the custom software. So, Russ, how can organizations manage third-party and custom software more cost-effectively while also maintaining a high security posture? Well, thanks, Andrea. And organizations often find themselves in the position of updating applications that have been custom-built in, for their environment or to have to deploy a hotfix to their environment that's really specific to the managed endpoints that they have within their environment. So in this example I'm going to show the Lumension Content Wizard to generate this custom content and then show the Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite to deploy the content. And what, within the Lumension Content Wizard here I have many different options for generating the, this custom content and we have a lot of built-in tools to generate these custom patches. So in this example I want to show this new patch wizard and I'm going to show how this is based off of an install shield setup application. But you can see I can use a lot of different deployable packages here whether it be an MSI or an MSP or use simple command lines or VB scripts. So simply just following the wizard here I'm going to look for my deployable package. And in this case, I've selected this hotfix. And I can custom generate the hotfix title here. So in this case, it's an XP hotfix for something that's specific to my environment. I can even generate a custom URL or add a description. In this case, maybe I just want to go back to the Microsoft KB article itself. A lot of times Microsoft will have these KBs for hotfixes that may not be security related and they are probably not uh, for many machines that are out there, but in this case it's specific for something that's in my environment. So I'm going to add that hyperlink. I can even go back and use this description if I wanted to. I can also generate my fingerprint type here to see how this patch is going to be made applicable to my environment. This fingerprint type will check the file to ensure that the file has been laid down properly to see if this patch has been installed. I can now select which operating systems I want this to be applicable to. In this case I know it's an XP patch so I want to remove the applicability to these other platforms and I can also create a 64-bit signature if I want to. Here I can review the details and then generate the content. So you see I now have this patch that's been generated. I can look at the signature here. I can see that it's been made applicable to XP machines and there's a 64-bit signature as well. I can take a look at my deployable package itself and there's the deployable package and I can actually even change the impact here the default impact is going to be software but I actually want to make this a recommended impact for my environment and then go ahead and hit save so this is what this is going to do is it's going to save this patch to my patch repository for on my Lumension Endpoint Management Security Suite server and what I can do now is navigate back to Lumension Endpoint Management Security Suite, my patch and remediation module, and take a look at this content and start to deploy this out to applicable machines in my environment. 
So let's go back over to LEMSS and I'm going to review at this point I'm going to review other recommended content and it's still being saved at this point and this was XP hotfix there's the patch itself since I've saved a new patch to my uh, server I actually have to have all my endpoints do another applicability check before they'll know that they're applicable to this content but as soon as that's complete I can go ahead and deploy this patch just like any other patch in my environment by using the deployment wizard and it's as simple as that that sounds pretty straightforward Russ thank you you're welcome I hope you enjoyed this short video on how Lumension Content Wizard and Lumension Patch and Remediation help you improve security while reducing your total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the Lumension Content Wizard page on our website, where you can also get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you!